Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded circle with the center O, fully inscribed uh, in a blue triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the area of this uh, yellow circle has been given to us uh, as 225 pi centimeter square. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, BF uh, is uh, 25 centimeter whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, CF uh, is uh, 26 centimeter and bear in mind uh, that uh, these points uh, D, E and F are our points of tangency and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this blue triangle uh, ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We are going to calculate uh, the radius uh, of this uh, yellow shaded uh, circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equal to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius of this uh, yellow circle. And in our case, uh, the area of this uh, yellow circle has been given to us uh, as 225 times pi. So we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got 225 times uh, pi equals to pi times uh, lowercase r square. And now we are going to divide both sides by pi. This pi and pi cancels out. Likewise, this pi is gone with this pi. So therefore, radius r square turns out to be equal to 225 and now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our radius uh, lowercase r turns out to be 15 centimeter. So thus the radius uh, r of this uh, yellow circle turns out to be 15 and now let's recall the two tangents uh, theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point, uh, then they are uh, congruent, as you can see in this given diagram. So therefore, we can see that this segment uh, AO is going to be equal to this segment uh, BO. And now, let's revert our attention back to our this given problem. According to this uh, two tangent theorem, uh, this uh, segment uh, EB is going to be equal to this segment uh, BF. If this segment is 25, then this uh, BE segment is going to be 25 as well. Likewise, uh, this segment uh, CD is going to be equal to this segment uh, CF. If this segment is 26, uh, then this segment has got to be 26 as well. And now let's assume that this uh, segment uh, AE length uh, is uh, X. Then according to this uh, given theorem, uh, this uh, segment uh, AD is going to be X as well. And here's our next step. Let's uh, calculate this whole uh, side length of this uh, blue triangle. This uh, side length BC is going to be 25 plus 26 is going to make uh, 51 centimeter. And likewise, uh, this uh, side length AB is going to be 25 plus X. That is going to give us 25 plus X. And uh, for this side length, uh, AC is going to be 26 uh, plus X. And now I'm going to assume that this uh, BC length is being represented by lowercase a. This uh, side uh, AC is being represented by lowercase b. And finally, this uh, side uh, AB is being represented by lowercase uh, c. And now let's recall the triangle area formula from the n radius. The area of the triangle uh, formula is going to be equal to r times uh, s, where r is the radius, uh, which is 15 in our case. And uh, s is equal to a plus b plus c all over 2, where uh, a, b, and c are our side lengths. Uh, of this uh, blue triangle ABC. And now we can see our lowercase a value is 51, lowercase b value is 26 plus x, and finally, lowercase c value is 25 plus x. We are going to substitute those values uh, over here in this uh, formula. 
as you can see in this uh, next step I have substituted uh, all those uh, a B and C values uh, in the numerator over here and now we are going to combine uh, all these uh, like terms as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can write this uh, right hand side as 102 divided by 2 plus 2x uh, divided by 2 as well so therefore our lowercase s value turns out to be 51 plus uh, x so thus our lowercase s value turns out to be 51 plus x and here's our next step we are going to find the value of uh, x as well and now let's recall the Heron's formula to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle ABC. The area is going to be equal to the square root of uh, S times S minus A times S minus B times uh, S minus C where S equals to A plus B plus C all over 2. And we already calculated S as 51 plus X. Our A value is 51, B value is 26 plus X and finally C value is 25 plus X. And now we are going to substitute uh, these uh, lowercase s, uh, a, b and c values in this uh, formula. As you can see in this uh, next step I have substituted all those uh, s, uh, lowercase a, lowercase b and lowercase c value over here. And now we can see this uh, 51 and negative 51 they cancel each other out. And here uh, we are going to get once we distribute this uh, negative sign that is going to give us uh, negative 26 uh, minus uh, x and we can see this uh, negative x uh, and positive x they cancel each other out so 51 minus 26 is going to give us uh, 25 uh, over here and finally we are going to distribute uh, this uh, negative sign as well so that is going to give us uh, negative 25 uh, minus uh, x and here we can see this x and negative x is gone so therefore 51 minus 25 is going to give us 26 over here and now let's make an observation we can see the square root of 25 is going to give us 5 as you can see in this next step the square root of 25 gave us 5 outside this radical and now I'm going to label this equation as number 1 and now let's recall once again the area of a triangle formula area equals to r times uh, s so therefore we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so once again the area of this uh, blue triangle is going to be our radius is 15 times our s is 51 plus uh, x and I'm going to label this one as our equation number two. And now we are going to compare these uh, two equations one and two since both of these uh, represents the area of this uh, blue triangle. So therefore we are going to equate the right hand uh, sides uh, as well. As you can see in this uh, next step I have equated uh, this right hand side equal to this one. And now I'm going to divide both sides by five. We can see this five and 5 is gone and here 5 goes into 15 uh, 3 times as you can see in this uh, next step and now I'm going to undo this uh, square root by taking a square root uh, on both side on this side uh, and uh, on this side uh, as well so therefore on the left hand side we are ended up 3 square is going to give us uh, 9 times uh, 51 uh, plus x uh, whole uh, square equals to now this square and square root undo each other so we ended up with the 26 uh, times x times uh, 51 uh, plus uh, x and now we are going to divide both sides by 51 uh, plus uh, x and make sure that 51 plus x uh, is not equal to 0 so therefore on the left hand side we are ended up with the 9 times uh, 51 uh, plus x uh, is going to be equal to since this is gone with this one so we are going to get 26x uh, on the right hand side and now we are going to distribute 9 over here so therefore this is going to give us uh, 459 plus 9x uh, 
equals to 26 uh, x now we are going to subtract 9 x from both sides this is gone so therefore uh, we got uh, 17 x equals to 459 and now we are going to divide by 17 to isolate x this uh, 17 is gone so therefore uh, our x value turns out to be 27 so thus our uh, x value turns out to be 27 and now let's recall once again s equals to 51 plus x and here i have copied down this s equals to 51 plus x and we know our x value is uh, 27 so i'm going to substitute that value over here as you can see in this uh, next step so thus our lowercase s value turns out to be if we add these uh, numbers that's going to give us uh, 78 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle abc and now let's recall the area of a triangle uh, formula once again r times s and we know our radius r is 15 and our uh, lowercase s value is 78 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so the area of this uh, blue triangle is going to be equal to 15 uh, times our s value is uh, 78 if we multiply that is going to give us uh, 1170 centimeter square so that's the area of this blue triangle abc turns out to be 1170 centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye